If you're watching this, you're probably really frustrated right now because your VLOOKUP function is returning an error and you can't figure out why. Trust me, I know how frustrating this can be, but luckily I'm here to help. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly why your VLOOKUP function isn't working and how to quickly fix it. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. The most common error you'll encounter when working with the VLOOKUP function is the NA error. Excel returns the NA error when the VLOOKUP function can't find the lookup value. For example, here we have a VLOOKUP function that looks up the sales representative in this data corresponding to the sale ID. It resulted in NA because it couldn't find a match to the sale ID in the first column of the table array. So if we double check the first column of the data table, we can see that the sale ID actually doesn't exist. To prevent this error in this case, we would have to use the if error function to set a default value if there are no matches in the data. Let's look at one more example. Here we have the same VLOOKUP function, but this time we are looking at this sale ID. This also resulted in an NA error, but when we investigated this by double checking the first column of the data, we saw that it actually does exist. So what the heck is happening? VLOOKUP can result in NA when the value exists in your data for multiple reasons. When troubleshooting this error, start by confirming that the table array argument is entered correctly. Confirm that the sale ID is in the first column of the table array and that all the data is included in the table array's range. If table array is entered correctly and your VLOOKUP function still returns NA when the value exists, there is most likely a formatting mismatch. The lookup value has to be the same format as the data you are searching. So if we take a closer look at this, the lookup value is actually a number stored as a text value, while the sale IDs in the data are number values. To fix this, we just need to reformat the lookup value by clicking the triangle with an exclamation point icon, and then selecting convert to number to match the data's format. If the lookup value and the data are in the same format and your VLOOKUP function is still returning NA, Make sure that there are no extra spaces in the lookup value. VLOOKUP searches for an exact match, so if there is an extra space in the lookup value, it does not match the value in the data. For example, here we have a VLOOKUP function looking up Addison Ray sale amount, but it returns NA. If we take a closer look at the lookup value, there is an extra space after Addison's last name. So all we need to do is delete the extra space, and the VLOOKUP function is back on track. Another error that can occur when using the VLOOKUP function is the ref error. If your VLOOKUP function results in the ref error, it contains an invalid cell reference. For example, we are the go-to Excel person in the office and our coworker asked us to debug this VLOOKUP function for him. When taking a closer look at the arguments, we discover that the column index number he entered does not exist within the lookup array, which means VLOOKUP is trying to return an invalid cell. He entered a 7, and the call index sum argument expects a number from 1 to 5 because that's the number of columns in the table array. Let's look at one more error we can stumble across when using the VLOOKUP function, the value error. The value error occurs when there is an invalid value entered in one of the VLOOKUP function's arguments. For example, here we have the same VLOOKUP function that looks up Addison Ray's sales, but now this time it results in the value error. When we take a closer look at the arguments, we discover that there is a negative 5 entered as the call index sum argument. The call index sum has to be entered as a positive integer or else it's considered invalid. So because it's a negative number, VLOOKUP returns the value error. If your call index sum is a positive value and your VLOOKUP function still returns the value error, your lookup value most likely exceeds the 255 character limit. VLOOKUP cannot look up any values that exceeds this limit, so if the lookup value contains more than 255 characters, VLOOKUP will return the value error. To wrap up, we learned how to debug all of VLOOKUP's errors. Hopefully now you're feeling a little bit less frustrated and your VLOOKUP function is working correctly. If you never want to run into another formula error again, watch this video that explains every single Excel error and how to quickly fix each of them. As always, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel for more.